Hi, everybody. So today in class, we used different units of measure, and we were able to convert from one unit of measure to another unit of measure um, by finding the constant that would connect the two. And you were given a ratio table, not a ratio table, sorry, but you were given this chart that you could see that you've got different customary lengths of measure, you have metric units of measure that you can go back to to help you when you're doing your assignment. So let's go ahead and do this example. Jill and Erica made four gallons of lemonade for their lemonade stand. How many quarts did they make? If they charge $2 per quart, how much money will they make if they sell it all? So let's just start by looking at the fact that we have to convert gallons and quarts. So we have four gallons, and we're just finding out how many quarts are in four gallons. So some of you might already know it, but if you don't, all we have to do is we have to look up at this chart, and we're going to look, oops, that we can find over here, I see gallons, and I can see that one gallon is equal to four quarts. So let's go back. Our four gallons, and we're looking into quarts. And we said that there are four quarts in one gallon. So if I have, oops, four quarts is equal to one gallon, we want to find out how many quarts are there in four gallons. So when I'm looking at my relationship between my equal rates, I can see that from, get to, from one gallon to four gallons, it's four times more. So to make it an equal rate, I'm going to take my four quarts and also times that by four so I can keep those equivalent. And four times four gives me 16 and that 16 is my quarts. So I've got quarts to quarts, gallons to gallons. Now, I haven't answered the question yet. I've gotten close, but my next part is finding out how much money we're going to make if we sell it all. So they said $2 per quart. So my four gallons is equal to 16 quarts. So I'm gonna take those 16 quarts and times it by the $2 per quart that they want to sell it for. So I'm going to go ahead and do six, 16 times two. I could do it in my head or you could set it up like this. Six times two is 12, carry the one. One times two is two plus one more is three. So I've got $32 in order to sell all of that. So we converted from quarts to gallons, and in order to do that, we looked at our conversion table and found out that four quarts are equal to one gallon, set up equivalent ratios to help us solve it. Um, there are other ways when you multiply by the constant, when you set it up as equivalent rates, you can definitely see how they're equal and how you can relate one gallon to get over to four gallons and four quarts to get times four to 16 quarts.